Hmm. Hello friends, in the last lecture we have studied remove to and use so that. In that topic we have learned many methods of replacing to with so that with rules and also examples. In the last lecture we learned how to replace to with so that. Now I am going to teach you how to replace so that with two all rules in a reverse. Now I am going to teach you how to replace so and that with T double O and T O. Let's learn. Look, I have written some examples having so that. In bracket, you would be asked to use to or remove, remove so that. Hmm. Now look how to replace so and that with T double O and T. I am so tired that I cannot complete my homework. Write subset and auxiliary. Replace so with T double O. Replace so with T double O. Right answer to as it is. Replace that with two. Replace that with two. Okay. We have to replace so with two that with T O. T double O and T O. After that, we have to remove can I and cannot. We have to remove this pronoun and cannot because we and such pronoun and cannot and could not. We have to remove that part, then the remaining part as it is to complete. We might not work. I'm too tired to complete my homework. Look, once again, I explain replace so with T double O that with to remove I and cannot write the remaining part as it is. I am too tired to complete my homework. The medicine was so bitter that I could not take it. Look, it's a bit different sometimes. That subset and auxiliary word as they are. Replace so with two. Replace so with two. Take this and set two. As it is, replace that with two. 
sorry here, we have to replace that with 4 because subject is non-living. Subject is non-living and replace that with 4 then convert I into me. Convert I into me. Convert subject to case into object to case then take 2 remain part as it is. The medicine was too bitter for me to take it. Again, take subject and auxiliary verb replace so with T double O. Take adjective as it is replace that with for convert subject to case into object to case. Again, take to take it. Remain part as it is. The medicine was too bitter for me to take it. So that I can, I could not take it. Pastures. Now look, next sentence. The cupboard is so heavy that we cannot move it. <coughs> Take subject and auxiliary as it is. The cupboard is replaced so with T double O. Take abstract to as it is. Replace that with here for. This example is like the second one. Replace that with for. Convert this way into us. Convert subject to case into object to case us. Then add to move it. The cupboard is too heavy for us to move it. Take subject and auxiliary. Replace so with T double O. Take adjective as it is, replace that with for convert subject to case into object to case, then to the remaining part as it is. In this way, we can replace so that with T double O and T. Okay. Take down these three examples. I take some more examples. Random first. That first, all three examples in your notebook. You might take some more examples.
Now pay attention to some more examples. I will take it. It became so dark that I could not read easily. So and that is there. Take some side and auxiliary adjectives. It became replace so with T double. Then take this abstract to adjectives. Replace that with for. Replace that with for here. Convert subject to case into object to I into me. Remove could not. I again to for me to read easily. <coughs> read easily. First take subject and auxiliary. Uh, main, main work, there is no auxiliary work, main work, it became replace so T double O, add adjective as it is, replace that with for convert subject to into object to, to read easily, add to again, next one as it is, it became too dark for me to read easily, it became so dark that I could not read easily. She was so poor that she could not do birthday. But a present. Take subject and auxiliary as it is. Replace so with T double O. Take this adjective as it is. Then replace that with to. Sorry. Yes, that with to. We have taken she as subject. She. Remove she and could not. Remove this part. Remove this part, the right remaining part, and this to give what the rest of the same. To give what the rest She was too poor to give what the rest Now, next sentence the peak is so high that no one can climb it. Take subject and auxiliary. Replace so with three double O. Right, adjective as it is, right, adjective as it is, replace that with to, replace that with to, remove no one also can, remove no one also can to climb it. To climb it. The peak is too high to climb it. Okay, this is the time. Replace so that with T double O and two. Write down these examples first. If you have completed, then pay attention here. Here we have completed remove to and so that with many examples and also with rules. I have taught you all methods also. I have given some more examples of this topic. Now 
I am starting a new lesson. That's very easy. We have learned in the 8th standard, also in 7th standard. But some students find it difficult. I am starting that topic. It's very easy. That's add a question tag. Let's start new lesson, add a question tag. Let's start. Just take the idea and the question tag. And the question tag. Look, what is the meaning of question tag? First, I explain. The meaning of question tag when we speak or when we write something at that time we add a short type of question at the end of the spoken or written sentence for confirmation of the sentence whether it is correct or not. Look again, take when we speak or write something at that time. We add a short type of question at the end of the sentence for the confirmation whether it is correct or not. And that short type of question is called as question tag. When we add a short type of question at the end of the sentence, we call it question tag. While speaking, we use such question tag. You are looking so nice, aren't you? I have completed my project, haven't I? In this way, while speaking, we use such question tags regularly. Now we are going to learn how to add question tag to the given sentence. You would be given one sentence and in bracket you would be asked add a question tag. You must have understood the meaning of question tag. Question tag is a short type of question which is added at the end of the given sentence for the confirmation whether it is right or wrong. Okay. Now let's learn how to add such question tag to the given statements. First statement, I write Mohan has. Completed his project. Voice cannot play fair. In that it will be asked as a question. I a question tag. Look, such question will be asked to you. Mohan has completed his project in bracket and a question tag. Now, I am telling you how to add question tag. First rule is, we have to know whether the given sentence is negative or positive. We have to know the given whether the given sentence is positive or negative. Why? Because our rule says if the given sentence is positive, add negative question tag. If the given statement would be negative, add positive question tag. Okay? Negative into positive and positive into negative. It's our first rule. So we have to find the, whether the given sentence is in say is in positive or in negative. If Positive statement will be there and negative tag. If the negative statement will be there and positive tag. It's first rule. 
Then the second rule is we have to find out whether the given sentence has auxiliary verbs or not. Whether the given sentence has auxiliary verbs or not. In this sentence, has is auxiliary verb. Second rule, we have to find out whether there is helping verb. Is helping verb is there or not? Okay. First sentence. Sentence look, Mohan has completed his project. This statement is positive and there is auxiliary verb has. Okay. Third rule is write the given sentence as it is. Write the given sentence as it is. Mohan has completed his project. Okay. Write the given statement as it is, then put comma, then put comma. The given sentence is in positive, so we have to add negative question back. Add not into has, it becomes has a short form, has plus not as a in short form. We have that hasn't, hasn't. After hasn't, take proper pronoun for the subject. Subject is small, so proper pronoun he. They put question mark. It is very important to put question mark after the pronoun. Look, once again, I take first write the given sentence as it is, then put comma. Then write proper form of auxiliary verb into positive or negative according to the meaning of the sentence. It is positive statement, so we have to add negative question there. There is has, we have to add not in that auxiliary verb has plus not hasn't. After hasn't, we have to write proper pronoun for the given subject. Mohan is there. Take proper pronoun he, then question mark. Hasn't he is the proper question mark. Hasn't he is the proper question mark. Now, next statement boys cannot play well. Boys cannot play well. It is negative statement. It is negative sentence. And can is auxiliary verb there. Right? The given sentence as it is. Put comma. Boys cannot play well. Right? The given sentence as it is, then put comma. It is negative. We have to add positive question tag. Cannot into can. Just take can. Remove not. They proper pronoun for the subject. They can they. Then put question mark. Boys cannot play well. Can they? Can they? is the proper question tag. Okay. In this way we can add question tag to the given statement. It is the examples in first method. There are such different kinds of examples where we will take that but before take some information and rules for adding question tag. After adding question tag take information in some sentences The question tag is a short type of question. Take information. The question tag is a short type of question. The question tag is a short type of question. The question tag is a short type of question. Which is asked. Which is asked. Which is asked. Add the at the end of the given sentence at the end of the given sentence at the end of the given sentence for the confirmation 
or the confirmation whether it is right or wrong. 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 After that information, take rules. After that information, take rules by repeating first rule. First rule. If the given sentence is in positive, if the given sentence is in positive, comma. And negative question mark. And negative question mark. Right? Question mark. In short, Q full stop T. Q in capital full stop T. Capital full stop. And negative question mark to it. And negative question mark to it. Full stop. If the given sentence is in negative, Continue. If the given sentence is in negative, if the given sentence is in negative, then add positive question mark. Then add positive question mark. Then add positive question mark. Then add positive question mark to it full stop. Then add positive question mark to it full stop. Next one. Next two. First of all, comma. First of all, comma. Write the given statement as it is. Write the given statement as it is. And put comma. Comma should be in word. Write the given statement as it is and put comma. Comma should be in the words. Put comma. Full stop. Next rule. After comma. After comma. Comma should be to word. Then put comma mark. After comma. In the word. Then put comma mark. Write the proper form of auxiliary verb. Write the proper form of auxiliary verb. In bracket positive or negative. In bracket positive or negative. Bracket completed. In bracket positive or negative. Bracket completed. Add. Write proper form of the auxiliary verb in bracket positive oblique negative. Bracket completed. Next rule. They write proper, they write proper pronoun for the given subject. They write proper pronoun for the given subject in the sentence. They write proper pronoun for the given subject. For the given subject. And put question mark and put question mark and put question mark. Full stop. These are the rules for adding question mark. After these rules, take down these two examples as I have written. In bracket, take that question mark. So add a question mark. After these rules, take these two examples. Then I have to give you all negative forms of auxiliary words because some students can't. Understand what are the auxiliary words. For them, I am giving all auxiliary words after these two examples. Write down these two examples first.
can now take negative forms of auxiliary verbs. Now take negative forms of the auxiliary verbs. First I write here, after me you write. You should know all auxiliary verbs. Just take title. Our persona is equal to I. Just pay attention here. I have done here L plus not but I. It's correct because when you add not in L, it doesn't become an. It's one exceptional. So N plus not is I. You can bracket this word. Is plus not isn't. L plus not I. Not I. R plus not R. Then look next. Words plus not. Words and. Where plus not. Where and. Was plus not wasn't, where plus not weren't. Next, sham plus not sham. Will plus not owned. Have plus not haven't. Has plus not hasn't. Had plus not haven't. Plus not put plus not couldn't do plus not don't. Does plus not doesn't. Did plus not didn't. Can plus not can't. Cool plus not cool. If these are the negative forms of O, create the verbs, write down this.
negative forms there are some more i give them also first to write this auxiliary words write it fast Now I write some more auxiliary verbs. At this part, you continue. Must plus not must not might plus not might not or two plus not or three two. Need to plus not need not to dare to plus not dare not. Okay, these are the auxiliary forms. You should know all these words. Yes, all have been completed. All has been completed. Take all forms of auxiliary verbs. Right, they are. Okay, now I take some different kinds of examples of question tag. How to add question tag to such examples? Just pay attention here.
there are many flowers there were no one present there were no one present now look this sentence is these sentences have been started with there these sentences have been started with there so at the last part of the sentence we have to write there as a pronoun there is no need to write any other pronoun we have to write the same there as it is first write the given sentence as it is there are many flowers there are many flowers put comma put comma it is negative and are is a auxiliary verb and not in a other and write there as it is then put question mark you have to write there as it is there are many flowers comma aren't there question mark it's very important to put question mark if you haven't put question mark then you would not get single mark there were no one present it is negative and where is auxiliary there were no one present write the given sentence as it is put comma it is negative so take where as auxiliary verb where then take there as it is then put question mark there were no one present comma where there okay in this way the given statements are started with there then take there and put question mark take rule for these statements after the auxiliary verbs take rule i have given rules for first method continue that number and take rule for these statements if the given sentence is started with there if the given sentence is started with there t h e r there to there into single in quote commas if the given sentence is started with there t h e r to there into single in quote commas there then write the same word then write the same word at the last part of the sentence then write the last then write the same word then write the same word at the last part of the sentence and put question mark and put question mark okay after this rule take down these two examples Take down these two examples. Very fast. Okay. Now look here. In this lecture, we have learned what is the meaning of question mark. We have taken all auxiliary words in negative forms. Also, we have seen how to add question mark in some kind of examples. There are still some kinds of examples, different kinds of examples. I take those examples in the next lecture. Thank you.